Okay, to simplify this radical, uh, what you're wanting to do is getting rid of the square root sign on the bottom. So probably one thing that you could do, again, is use that rule where you can write everything under one square root. And since those are both under the square root, these guys here, they're both y's, I can simplify them. If I'm dividing common bases, I subtract their exponents. So this would be y5 over y2, that would be y cubed on the top, and on the bottom, x. Okay, now let me rewrite it, separate it, like this. And to rationalize, I need to multiply top and bottom by something that will get rid of this x. Remember, you need two, if it's a square root, you need two things inside to get, to get one out. So I can multiply the bottom by root x, because I know on the bottom that will give me root x squared, which is just plain old x. So there, there's no more square root on the bottom. But if I multiply the bottom by that, I have to multiply the top by that. And so when I do that, I'm going to get the square root of x, y cubed. And then over here, I'll just rewrite that x, y cubed. So that's what I would get in the end.